<clears throat> hi, hi. It's the Tiny One Slash Species, and welcome to day 15 of Vlogmas. Um, I know it's the 15th day because it's also my dad's birthday. <clears throat> of course, with all that's going on, I can't spend time with him, but um, since today is my Friday, technically, I'll uh, give him a call tomorrow <clears throat> on my day off. How's everyone doing today? Uh, next week is Christmas Eve and Christmas. Are y'all ready for it? And then the week after that is uh, the end of the year. I know. it's. <clears throat> it seems like this year has been so much longer than what it's supposed to be. But we're getting through it one day at a time. We're getting through it. Just pain in the butt, and then hopefully next year will be easier. <clears throat> I'm honestly, I'm just as stressed out and wanting this to be over as a lot of you are. So don't worry about it. I know <clears throat> I tend to seem like all, you know, cool and happy and da-da-da. I don't know why I say da-da-da. I don't even remember where I got that from, but uh, <clears throat> I know I seem very upbeat and everything online, but trust me, I'm, I feel like if I convey to you how stressed I am, it'll just stress you out more because there's nothing you can do about it type thing, so I'm just trying to deal with it in my own <clears throat> ways. Also... I got these socks the other day, or last night, <clears throat> and I don't know where they're from. Does anyone know what this Unis Honest is? I mean, they're pretty cool socks. One's black, one's white, and they've got skulls on them. <clears throat> it's, you know, up my alley, and I can always use socks, especially right now. It's like 38. <laughs> No, I'm just kidding. Um, <clears throat> Unis Honest is the uh, channel that Markiplier and uh, Crank Gay plays, also known as Ethan, uh, had for a year. <clears throat> they started it last year in November. And then uh, they did a 12-hour live stream uh, last month on Friday the 13th to end the channel. And <clears throat> I was up for it. I was there for it. And it was awesome. And, uh, but there was like a mad scramble to get, you know, their merchandise. And at the time, I was between paychecks. <clears throat> and Whimsy Rainbow Star helped me at least get, I told her, I want to at least get a pair of socks. And I think the junk boy got some stuff too. I think he wanted to get like the camp Unisonis stuff. And then they had a little sticker, which is really cool. Uh, I think that's going to be part of my uh, background when I film in my room. Um, <clears throat> I kind of like this aesthetic right now. It's just sitting at the kitchen table, just chatting with all you. Um, for this Vlogmas, <clears throat> rather than doing computer stuff, because I don't got to look anything up or anything. So that's... That's why we do this. And then plus, <clears throat> when I have energy to do it at nights, we have the cool uh, lights behind me. So let's see what squishy is for today. Ooh, another Christmassy one. How many Christmassy ones do we have left? I think we have like... Two Christmassy ones left. <clears throat> okay. Honestly, I'm running out of room to work with these squishies, but that's cool. I love having like this little army of squishies on my desk. Just pick one up at random. Oh, it opens that way. <laughs> Okay. 
Mm. Oh. Like some of the coffee grounds got in the bag. Okay. And so rain gear. It's I mean it looks more like a clown reindeer, but it's a reindeer. It's cute. <clears throat> Perfect size for my hands. Well I said I test with my left hand because that's like the not the this is like the better hand because this is like my force dominant hand, but this one <clears throat> A lot of times I want to be able to carry something in my left hand. That's why I tested it with that. Um, oh god. <clears throat> I had a topic and forgot it. Oh, okay. So, uh, this topic kind of ties into, uh, the Unis Honest thing. <clears throat> Unis Honest, uh, Mark and Ethan basically filmed and did what they wanted for a year. And they threw caution to the wind. They had fun. And ultimately, that's what I want to do for a job. You know, I want to do YouTube. I want to do Twitch. So that I can stay home and <clears throat> rest when I need to. I'm getting a bit warm because of the heater. Rest when I need to and um, be able to take care of myself better than I do at work. Because at work, you have, like, man, especially December, <clears throat> there are mandatory days that you have to come in and you get double penalized if you don't. And it's just this whole thing. It's, it's a mess. Um, <clears throat> so some of the other jobs I created, I've been around a while. <laughs> I know I don't look it because I'm small and I'm young looking, but I've been around a while. Hello. I think she realized I was filming. She's like, nope, sorry. <laughs> that was grim, by the way. <clears throat> but, um, so my first job was with my aunt and I was still a student and I was working summers helping her with uh, her job at the school district and <clears throat> I earned I think it was 425 an hour I think it was yeah four dollars and 25 cents you didn't hear that wrong and then when I became an adult it changed and it moved up to because I was a uh, helper And it moved up to $9.25. So that was a significant jump for me. And um, I was like, oh my God, all this money, you know. <clears throat> and it was a fun job while it lasted. It didn't last long. Um, I don't want to go into why it didn't last. Other jobs I've had... Are, have been, um, I'm going to take this off. I'm getting very warm. <clears throat> so other jobs I've had have been, um, <clears throat> I've worked in schools. I've done temporary in schools, like, um, doing secretarial work. Um, I've answered phones at um, companies. I've done switchboard work. I've done a hundred uh, <clears throat> hundred line switchboard. That was pretty interesting because basically you get a call, say, "Oh, I need to talk to whoever," you know, and then so you're okay. Please hold. You put them on hold. You have a list. Uh, you have a sheet. But you look for that person's name and then you just route it to that extension. Or they say, can I have extension? The real easy one is, can I have extension whatever, you know, like 44. And then you just route it to 44. <clears throat> um, I've done data entry. Data entry has been my most fun because basically they're like, put this in, 
to the to our computer system. Here's how you log in. Here's how you do it. You have it. You understand it. Okay. And then they just <clears throat> leave me off to do it, and I can put my headphones on, listen to my music, and just type type away. Those are my those are the jobs I find most fun. Unfortunately, those are a lot of times are through a temp agency. And a lot of temp agencies in this area want to route me to the big city. And, <clears throat> and I'm already uh, using a lot of gas to go to and from my current job. Because my current job is a bit of ways. <clears throat> but to go to the bigger city would be even more gas. And, yeah, I can't do that. So, unfortunately, <clears throat> temp agencies don't work with me, uh, don't work for me, which is why I'm glad I was able to get the job that I did. Um, what other jobs I've done? Fast food. Hated fast food because I was doing fast food in a store. And... It was not in a good part of town. <clears throat> and look, I, I talk about horrible customers. You know, I, 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 I have horrible customers where I work now, but oh my God. <clears throat> At this one job, um, we would have customers just taking the ketchup and mustard packets and just pouring them all over the, uh, the um, table and then making art out of them. Um, <clears throat> or they'd take the ketchup and mustard packets and stomp them on the ground, just making them splatter all over the place. Or I've seen kids just Put their finger on, you know, you know, like the little, the little soda machine, just move the little lever. So the soda just pours right out and pours and pours and wastes all their soda and just, just ridiculous stuff like that. Um, yeah, that was a job that had me so miserable going in and leaving. <clears throat> But at the time, I was going through. I was going to medical school because I wanted a, I wanted a better paying job. I wanted, you know, I wanted to get some education into me, and I thought, oh yeah, I could get my foot into um, the medical field because I had a couple of cousins that were in the medical field, and I wanted to actually start earning money so I can have my own place. And I could have, um, you know, money and I wouldn't have to worry about it, that sort of thing. That didn't pan out because my health crashed. So, um, I'm still trying to work to get my expenses excused medically. Because my medical crash happened, like, to the point where I actually need to start thinking about going on Social Security. That's how bad it was. Um, it happened days, legit days, <clears throat> after I graduated. <laughs> it was the most ridiculous thing. And my health was a lot worse back then, too, so that didn't help anything. Like, my health is better, but it's not 100%. It's never going to be 100%. Because that's just the nature of being uh, chronically disabled with all the disabilities I have, especially about heart, especially about heart, um, and pain issues that flare up when the weather is bad. <clears throat> uh, what else have I done? I've done, oh, okay, I've done um, sign flipping. And if you don't know what sign flipping is, um, You know those people that stand on street corners 
and they're holding a sign and they're legit flipping it around and they're trying to do stuff to attract your attention so that you look at the sign in their hands. I've done that before. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I... Oh, I've done... I didn't do this for very long, but I've done a newspaper delivery with my roommates and uh, mom. That was interesting. It sucks having to get up so early in the morning to um, to get the papers bundled and ready and then packed up in the um, at the time we were using mom's truck <clears throat> to go and deliver them. But it was interesting. It was a different experience. Um, I've done, what else have I done? <clears throat> I've done other interesting stuff, like I've done retail. One job I was supposed to be doing retail, and they had me doing security instead. And yeah, this little t tiny four, seven, nothing is going to be doing security for you during Black Friday. During one of the biggest and historical toy drops ever. Really. Yeah, I worked Black Friday at a uh, <clears throat> toy store in a mall. Toy store is no longer in existence, as far as I know. That's... Uh, it was the year that they dropped the Furby and Tickle Me Elmo, the original Tickle Me Elmo, so yeah. And they wanted me to wait, because what they would have people do is um, they would give people clear plastic bags as they entered the store. Customers would fill all the bags with their items and then line up. Like I feel bad for the poor cashier. And now that I'm a cat, because... And at the time, I was pissed because I'm like, I wanted to be cashiering. I wanted to be in the store. And instead, they had me because the line snaked all the way around through the mall to the other end where the stairs were. And that's where they parked me. I'm like, what if a customer decides to turn and run with Furbies and um, Tickle Me Elmo's in their bag and make a dash for the stairs? What am I going to do? How am I going to stop them? Really? Come on. Think. Um, I've had another job. Again, Black Friday. <clears throat> where originally I worked at a different location for this job. And I had fun, but the work was starting to dry up. And... I was, as it was drying up, I was only working five hours a week and I was traveling so far to get there. It was ridiculous. And so they're like, why don't you go to this closer location of ours that we have? Okay, good. And I'm not, I'm deliberately not, del deliberately not saying the store's name. Because even though the store doesn't exist here, it might still exist other places. And um, so I go, like, I'm not even fathoming um, <clears throat> what time of year it is. I go in, I do my training on the computer. My first day on the floor is Black Friday. And they take a like makeshift register area, <clears throat> plop it down in toys at 5 a.m. and it's like, there you go. I was surrounded for hours by customers. Hours. I didn't get a break. 
And then when my one of my bosses came by and she's like it was like noon by then. And then she's like, Oh, do you want to stay longer? I said, No. <laughs> no. I won't go home. <laughs> I didn't get lunch. I didn't get break. I was just there helping customers for hours and it was a mess. I don't know how uh, that was one of the jobs that my health was really bad. And I don't even know how I stood. Because this was a full-time job. This was before I got my social security. So I have no idea how I was able to stand for all those hours just dealing with customers. I don't get it. I really don't. And this was after my health crash when I was forced to find something in order to keep the roof over my head and I actually lasted almost two years at that job I don't know how like I said it was a full-time job Monday through Friday but I I made it somehow I stubborn forced myself but yeah I my, like I said before, my ideal job is to do like Twitch and YouTube and cosplay, but doing it meaning I work from home, I'm able to take breaks when I can, I'm able to take care of myself, unlike with this current job that I have, which I do appreciate still working, especially right now, um... I can't really take care of myself, which is frustrating, but um, starting tomorrow, I have three days off. I am planning on taking care of myself, lots of rest, um, videos might be uploaded late, just a warning, just because I need to, I want to rest and relax. <clears throat> But yeah, so I'm going to end this video here. Um, like I said, today's video kind of ties into uh, yesterday's video of just, you know, fill your dreams. Try, you know, do what makes you happy. If you have to have a job to help support you financially, that's fine but still have something on the side that you know that makes you happy that you can unwind with and that you know eventually you can move job that pays money and combine it with what makes you happy i mean that's what unis honest did they turned uh, <clears throat> i mean that's what mark and ethan did they had a channel where they did stuff that made them happy. And granted, they were probably not getting profit from Unis Honest. They were probably getting profit from um, uh, their own personal channels. But still, they were doing something that made them happy. <clears throat> but yeah. So I'm going to eat. I'm going to leave this episode here. I almost said I'm going to eat this episode here. Yeah, I need to make some more coffee and get something to eat. So that's going to be all for now. Thank you so, so much for watching. Please stay safe, stay happy. <clears throat> and I'll talk to you later. Bye. Mm -hmm.